Hi, welcome to a short video on the practical usage of a software called Power BI Desktop. I'd like to showcase the prowess of the software via visualizing flows. Now, I'm Ashish Mathur. For this and other MS Excel solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. Now, before I actually jump on to showing you how one can visualize flows using this particular software, I'd like to first just run you by the data set. So on the next worksheet called base data, I have a simple four column data set showing me the city of origin in column A, the city of destination in column B, the mode of transport here in column C, and the passengers traveled in column D. So a simple interpretation of line seven would be, there were, five, there were 612 passengers who traveled from Chandigarh to Amritsar by bus. So this is where people originated their journey from, where did they terminate their journey at, what mode of transport did each one of them use, and how many passengers traveled by, from this to this via this mode of transport. Now, I'd like to actually have answers to very simple questions such as, what is the total count of passengers of those who originated their journey from uh, New Delhi to Amritsar via train? Likewise, what's the total number of passengers who traveled to New Delhi from New Delhi to Amritsar by bus? And likewise, if I see it from the two sides uh, from the, to the to, from the two side as well, I'd like to know how many people terminated their journey in Jammu who traveled by car from New Delhi. Okay, so I'd like to slice and dice this data and I'd like to preferably do so via creating visuals of this. Now, if I stick myself to Excel for now and I try to frame an Excel based solution, I guess one simple way to do so is to create a simple pivot table of this. On the next worksheet, I've created a pivot table dragging city of origin and the mode of transport to the row labels, the city of destination to the column labels and the passengers traveled in the value area section over here. Now, how do I interpret this figure? There were 415 passengers who traveled from Jammu by car from Chandigarh, right? So there were 1115 passengers who traveled by car from Chandigarh. So a simple pivot table looking at a row column intersection. It's a simple cross tabular reference that you can see over here. Now this while is a good tabular is a good cross tab representation. It's not a visual. If I had to visualize this data, one way to do so would be to actually go to pivot chart over here. And um, you know, this is what I've simply created by clicking by, you know, selecting any one cell in the pivot table and going to pivot chart. And that's how the pivot chart pops up. I uh, have dragged. Uh, so on, on the X axis over here, you'll see the city of origin and the mode of transport. And I have different stacks uh, for each one of them and the different colors over here represent the city of destination. So this is one representation. One can of course, you know, um, drag the pivot table rows and columns to change the visual that one has over here as well. So this is good. It actually at least gives me what a simple represent, visual representation of my uh, cross tab would be, but then it's really not the best. I mean, I would like to visualize this data via, you know, seeing flows of data. You know, I wanna actually see how many people uh, flowed via a simple pipe, let's say, from a New Delhi to a Chandigarh using these modes of transport. So in order to do that, I've actually made use of a software called Power BI Desktop. So Power BI Desktop is a free for download and use add-in by Microsoft, which rolls all the four BI tools into one, which is Power Pivot, Power Query, Power Map, and Power View. As I said, it's absolutely free of cost. You can simply head on to uh, your internet browser, type in Power BI Desktop over there in the search box, uh, download this and start using it right away. Now, I have Power BI Desktop installed on my system and I'm gonna show you how one can actually visualize data from the four columns that I've shown you in my Excel workbook. So I have three tabs over here, SAN Key Chart Original, SAN Key Chart Revised and a Chord Chart. So a SAN Key is basically a a custom visual which is part of Power BI Desktop. So Power BI Desktop, as I mentioned, is basically all four BI tools rolled into one. So there are some standard built-in charts that come when you download and install the software. And the beauty of Power BI Desktop is that I need not restrict myself to using only these built-in visuals. I can also start using what I call custom visuals. What really happens is that Microsoft has allowed a lot of third parties to create visuals for the Power BI Desktop they submit these visuals to Microsoft and you and I as end business users can start downloading and using them FOC absolutely. So SAN key, which is spelled as S-A-N-K-E-Y is a custom visual that one can download from the Microsoft website and start using it right away. 
Now, if I just take a look at this diagram, a Sankey uh, uh, diagram basically allows you to visualize flows. Now, if you see over here on the left hand side, I have all the originating cities, which is Amritsar, Chandigarh, Mumbai and so on. I have the different modes of transport, air, bus, car and train. And on the right hand side, I have my destination cities, Chandigarh, Goa, Mumbai, New Delhi and so on. So how do I interpret this? If I simply hover my mouse over here, I get to see that there were about 3,900 odd passengers who originated their journey from Chandigarh. And if I, you know, take my mouse over here, so of the 3,900 people, there were 1,900 people who traveled from Chandigarh by bus. If I were to click on this, you'll see it'll gray out everything else which uh, belongs to other cities and show me all those people who originated their journey from Chandigarh as, you know, different, uh, as lines with different thickness. The thickness of every line will tell me how many passengers traveled via that mode of transport. So by looking at this, I can clearly get to know that most people who originated their journey from Chandigarh chose to travel by bus. If I double click on any white space over here, I come back to my starting point. Likewise, I can click on bus over here to actually get to see of all those who travel by bus, which cities did they originate their journeys from and where did they turn in, terminate their journeys in, right? I once again double click anywhere to come back to my original starting point. I can likewise click on New Delhi over here to once again study the flow. So of all the people who terminated their journey in New Delhi, which different modes of transport did they use? Now, as I said, a Sankey is not a built-in graph type when you download Power BI Desktop, but you can download and install this particular visual free of cost from the Microsoft website. It's called a Sankey. Now, have, how have I created this? So this diagram that I've created has not directly come from the four column data set which I shared, shared with you in my Excel file. I've actually had to create an intermediary table which is called Sankey table. That table in turn has been created via writing a DAX formula, which is a power pivot formula. And I've created, created a condensed table from the four column table over there to crunch it to a three column table. And then I've simply dragged the rows, dragged them to the source, to the destination and to the weight over here. Now, while this is a great visual, at least a lot better than the pivot chart, which I'd shown you on my Excel file, it still suffers from one small limitation, which happens to be this. If I click on, let's say Mumbai over here, you'll notice my click terminates at the mode of transport itself. So for example, while I do get to know that over, there were about 630 or people who traveled by air from Mumbai, I do not know of the 630 people who traveled by air from Mumbai, which cities did they terminate their journeys in. As you can see, this portion over here does not get highlighted. If I likewise click on New Delhi over here, I see that of all the people who terminated the journey in New Delhi, which different modes of transport did they use? I still do not get to see where did they originate their journeys from. Now, if I click on, let's say car over here, this is a fairly good visual that tells me where did people commence their journey from? Where did they terminate their journeys in? Now, I'd like to actually see the entire flow. So if I were to click on Mumbai over here, I should get to know how many people using different modes of transport have landed in which all different cities which I've done on this next worksheet called Sankey Re Chart Revised. So once I click over here, you'll actually here get to see that I've broken the Sankey table into two, in, into two different charts. So this is Sankey Chart 1, this is Sankey Chart 2. In Sankey Chart 1, I have uh, the relationship between the city of origin and the mode of transport. In Sankey Chart 2, I have the relationship between the mode of transport and the city of destination. So if I were to click on Chandigarh over here, so once again, you'll see the figure exactly matches with it, which is about 3,900 odd passengers who traveled from Chandigarh. Of these, there were 1,900 who chose to travel by bus. Now, if I take my cursor over here, you'll see that that figure is 1897 to be precise. It was 1.9K here, which is 1897 over here. Now of the 1,900 odd people who commenced their journey from Chandigarh by bus, they landed up in different cities which are New Delhi, Amritsar and Jammu. 500 traveled to New Delhi, 612 to Amritsar and 785 traveled to Jammu. I can double click anywhere to start come back to my original point. And let's say likewise, if I want to click over here on Amritsar, I get to know that people who travel to Amritsar used bus and train as their modes of transport. So there were about 950 odd who used the bus and about 800 odd who used the train. 
And if I hover my mouse over here, you'll see that exact figure is 954. So of the people who arrived in Amritsar, in Amritsar by bus, there were 612 who came by, who came from Chandigarh and 342 came by, came from New Delhi. So the limitation which I suffered on the previous chart which I showed you was that I could not study the entire flow which gets overcome over here by being able to use the trick of creating two different Sankey charts over here. Furthermore, as you can see, uh, here I haven't made, made use of the Sankey intermediary table at all. This both these visuals have directly come from the four column data set which I had shown you which is without writing any power pivot formula whatsoever. So the benefit is number one ease of usage and as much as there's no formula to be written. Next, uh, I study the entire flow of data over here, right? So this is one way to analyze flows using custom visuals in Power BI desktop. Yet another way is to use something called a chord chart which is once again a custom visual available for the Power BI desktop. Uh, one can download and start using this free of cost just as one can do so for the sand key. So here I've used a similar trick wherein I have two different uh, chord charts, one showing me the relationship between the city of origin and the mode of transport, the other one showing me the relationship between the mode of transport and the city of destination. So if I hover my mouse over here, I'll get to see there are 3,924 people who originated their journey from the city of Chandigarh, of which there were 1897 who traveled by bus, 1115 by car, 723 by train, and um, 189 traveled by air. Now, uh, if I were to actually, uh, you know, link this to the one over here, let's see how do I interpret this. So 1897 traveled from Chandigarh by bus. If I hover my mouse over here, um, sorry, so if I click over here, you'll actually get to see 1897 traveled from Chandigarh by bus. Here you'll see that exact figure 1897. Of the 1897, 785 traveled to Jammu, 612 traveled to Amritsar and 500 traveled to New Delhi. I double click anywhere to get back to my starting point over here. Likewise, one can click through on any of these uh, cords over here as well and see this chart getting updated automatically as well. So it's just a different type of a visual. We've exited the Excel environment. Uh, my data can be housed in Excel and I can import that data along with the entire model and whatever Power Pivot formulas I've written into Power BI Desktop. And here the benefit is that I can use custom visuals which are not available in, even in Excel 2016 as we speak, but are available only for the Power BI Desktop. I can simply download, start using them. And this is of course in addition to the built-in graphs that I have over there, right? I hope you enjoyed watching this, this short video. Thank you.